Hello guys and welcome back in a new video, I'm Simone and this is my Lucho Gun. Before starting to explain how I make this uh, Lucho Gun, I want to thank all my new patrons and for this reason I decided for this video to do a giveaway of uh, three of these mini, mini Lucho Gun and uh, the only things to enter in the giveaway is to be a subscriber and uh, you can find the link in the top line of the description. For things, uh, it's great to the 3D models of the props uh, I searched online for some reference and thanks to God Blizzard uh, give a really nice kit uh, with the reference of each uh, character and uh, I started to create the 3D model from scratch uh, and uh, if, you, if you want to download this 3D model because you want to print one of these uh, Lucho Gun you can find it on my Patreon after posting some picture on social of the render of the gun uh, a lot of you guys asked me to put a real speaker inside so I decided to spoke with Noah and Pedro from Adafruit uh, to understand if they was interested to send me some of the electronics part to put inside this gun and uh, uh, like they did for the tracer gun they sent me a package with all the stuff I needed so I'm back on the design and I create the space to be able to uh, integrate uh, a couple of speakers on the side uh, and uh, I slice the model to be printed in a desktop 3 printers for this project uh, I use my Ultima Virtu Plus uh, with a dark grey PLA from, from Futura and by the way if you need some filaments uh, I really recommend from Futura and they provide me a 15% discount and uh, uh, you can find the code in the description and that will give a little kickback of the channel. I slice all the, my parts using Simplify 3D uh, with an average of 7% of infill uh, and uh, with a layer, layer height of 0.25 mm. The timing of print depends from the setting you will choose. Uh, I would say is from 80 to 100 hours of print uh, because as you can see it's quite a big model. After I printed all the parts I started to send them uh, uh, down with uh, 80 grit uh, sandpaper and be sure to clean all the parts after this process to remove all the dust. Next step was to glue all the parts together. Uh, for this process I use uh, uh, epoxy glue and uh, super glue. I always co cover the surface uh, uh, with epoxy leaving some spot free and uh, where I would put the super glue. Uh, I do these things because uh, the super glue dry quickly uh, and keep the piece uh, in the right position uh, giving to the epoxy glue the time to uh, dry and uh, really stick the two parts together really well and I designed some little pin uh, to be able to align better the uh, parts in this process after it was time to uh, close all the little gap and the little imperfection on the gun and I use milliput for this process, I let it dry and after I use uh, again 80 grip uh, sandpaper to clean the surface from the excess of the milliput and then I clean again the surface to remove the dust so I could apply Zipoxy on top. Zipoxy is a finishing resin, uh, you will uh, find two bottles in the box uh, one is resin and one is the hardener. Uh, you will mix them uh, in uh, equal amounts and uh, apply them on top uh, of your model. And the working time is around 20-30 minutes and the cure time is around 3 hours. After the epoxy cure, you are ready to send again everything and clean it. And then uh, you are ready to apply a coat of filling primer. At this point you can understand if your model has some imperfection and you can fix it with uh, 320 grit uh, sandpaper and filling primer and uh, you can repeat this process until you are happy with the finishing. Finally it's time to paint the model and decide to uh, paint the gun with the gold skin so I cover all the parts who wasn't supposed to be painting gold uh, with tape and uh, then I use a spray paint in metallic gold and I give two coat of paint. After everything was well dry, I remove carefully uh, the tape uh, and start to paint all the other parts uh, with a brush and the airbrush uh, with acrylic paint. Uh, remember, if you will use the airbrush, the paint needs to have a really liquid consistency. When I was happy enough with the paint job, I seal and gloss uh, the gun using some varnish. 
now it's time to work uh, on the electronics parts. Uh, Pedro from Adafruit uh, sent me uh, over a link on their website where they did a, a similar circuit with speaker and, uh, and you are able to plug the, your phone and play the music. Uh, you can find the link of this uh, guide uh, of course in the description so if you want to make something similar you can follow their guide step by step. Before start to wiring everything, I need to grind the two speakers because they have a square metallic plug and I need to, uh, them in a circular shape. It was really easy to put the circuit together and I decided to be able to disconnect the speaker from the board so I can have access uh, inside the gun and uh, it would be more uh, easy to move the gun without damage uh, the speaker. Or the gun. I apply velcro inside the gun to be able to stick the, uh, and remove the battery pack and I did the same for the speaker. Now you are ready to have your Lucho gun with uh, real speakers and create your amazing uh, cosplay or use it uh, as some party to play your favorite music. Uh, just plug your phone in the cable and uh, you can play it any song or amp uh, or everything you want with it. So I just plug my phone uh, with the gun and I will show you really quickly uh, I would play the Lucho gun uh, from Overwatch the song really quickly. So how you can see it's pretty cool. Of course I went around uh, London with the gun uh, to make some cool picture uh, we did, you can see them in overlay right now and all on my social. Uh, I'm really proud about this design and remember if you want to print uh, this model you just go over on my Patreon and you can uh, download my files and uh, thanks again to all the new Patreon they just come and join uh, on my Patreon campaign and uh, uh, thanks for all the support in the comments and all on all over the social so hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you have any questions feel free to put them in the comments or, or tweet me or send me a message on instagram or on all over all, all the social and if you want to see a bit more behind the scene i'm always posting something the story of instagram i will leave in the description the social of pedro and noe from adafruit and of course all the link of everything i use from the circuit uh, so the, all the electronics parts from the, the paint uh, all the post processing tools and uh, see ya at the next video and remember always raise your eyebrow yeah.